Welcome to Medical Professional's new series on X-ray positions and procedures. In these videos, you will experience a 3D representation of radiographic protocols that will take you step-by-step step into X-ray imaging procedures. This video is about radiographic imaging of the chest. The first position is a chest PA. The patient preparation of a routine PA chest X-ray includes the following. Check the patient's identity. Have the patient remove metal objects from their chest. Verify the request by questioning the patient about the reason behind the imaging. Explain the exam or the procedure that you are about to begin with. Check if the patient is pregnant. As for radio protection precautions, we may place shielding over the gonad area and pelvis. You may also use tighter collimation of the image to include only the part of interest. The parameters that you may use in this procedure are the following. 100 to 110 kilo P, 1 to 5 milliamps A. The source image receptor distance is 72 inches or 183 centimeters. The patient position starts with the following. The patient is erect, facing the upright image receptor. The superior aspect of the receptor is 5 centimeters above the shoulder joint. Suspended inspiration. Shoulders are depressed to move the clavicle below the lung apex and are rotated anteriorly to allow the scapulae to move laterally off the lung fields. The chin is raised as to be out of the field. Hands placed on the posterior aspect of the hips or placed around the image receptor in a hugging motion. The central ray will be horizontal and perpendicular to the image receptor. It will be at the level of the seventh thoracic vertebra, approximately the inferior angle of the scapula. Now let us look into the evaluation criteria of the image acquired. The sternoclavicular joints are equidistant from the spinous process. The clavicles are in the same horizontal plane and symmetrical. There has to be good image contrast. Clear vascular markings of the lungs should be visible. A maximum of 10 posterior ribs are visualized above the diaphragm. No superimposition of the scapulae borders on the lung fields. The ribs of the thoracic cage are seen only faintly. The indications of a chest X-ray in the PA position include pleural effusions, pneumothorax, signs of infection, masses, nodules, atelectasis. The second position that we will be discussing is a lateral chest. The patient preparation of a routine lateral chest or a left lateral X-ray includes the following. Check the patient's identity. Have the patient remove metal objects from their chest. Verify the request by questioning the patient about the reason behind the imaging. Explain the exam or the procedure that you are about to begin with. Check if the patient is pregnant. As for radio protection precautions, we may place shielding over the gonad area and pelvis. You may also use a tighter collimation of the image to include only the part of interest. The parameters that you may use in this procedure are the following. 100 to 120 kV P, 1 to 5 milliamps. The source image receptor distance is 72 inches or 183 centimeters. The patient position starts with the following. Both arms are raised above the head and the patient's chin should be raised out of the image field. The patient should be standing upright with inspiration suspended. The left side of the thorax would be adjacent to the image receptor and the left shoulder would be placed firmly against the image receptor. The central ray will be horizontal and perpendicular to the image receptor. It will be at the level of the seventh thoracic vertebra, approximately the inferior angle of the scapula. Now let us look into the evaluation criteria of the image acquired. There should not be blurring or superimposition of the anterior ribs in the image. There should be adequate visibility of the spine. The chin should not be superimposing any structures. The sternum is seen in profile. The lung is visible in totality, and there is good bone contrast. The indications of a chest X-ray in the lateral position include searching for pathologies posterior to the heart, evaluating the great vessels and the sternum. The next position we will discuss is an AP of the ribs. The patient preparation of an X-ray AP of the ribs includes the following. Check the patient's identity. Have the patient remove metal objects from their chest. Verify the request by questioning the patient about the reason behind the imaging. Explain the exam or the procedure that you are about to begin with. Check if the patient is pregnant. As for radio protection precautions, we may place shielding over the gonad area and pelvis. 
You may also use a tighter collimation of the image to include only the part of interest. The parameters that you may use in this procedure are the following. 60 to 75 kVolt P, 5 to 10 mm. The source image receptor distance is 40 inches or 100 centimeters. The patient's position in an AP of the ribs starts with the following. Chin is raised as to be out of the image field. The procedure is done in suspended inspiration. The patient should be erect facing the X-ray tube, the posterior portion, resting on the upright detector. Their hands should be placed by the patient's side. The central ray will be horizontal and perpendicular to the image receptor. The center is 10 centimeters below the jugular notch at the mid-sagittal plane. Now, let us look into the evaluation criteria of the image acquired. There should not be blurring in the image. The entire rib cage should be visible from the first to the twelfth, and there should be good bone contrast. The indications of a rib x-ray in an AP position aim to rule out pathologies of the ribs, particularly fractures of the posterior ribs. The final position in this video is an oblique AP of the ribs. The patient preparation of an x-ray of the ribs includes the following. Check the patient's identity. Have the patient remove metal objects from their chest. Verify the request by questioning the patient about the reason behind the imaging. Explain the exam or the procedure that you are about to begin with. Check if the patient is pregnant. As for radio protection precautions, we may place shielding over the gonad area and pelvis. You may also use a tighter collimation of the image to include only the part of interest. The parameters that you may use in this procedure are the following. 75 to 85 cable P, 12 to 20 milliamps. The source image receptor distance is 40 inches or 100 centimeters. The patient's position in an oblique AP of the ribs starts with the following. The patient's arm closest to the receptor should be raised and placed on their head with the other on their hip. The patient may be standing or supine with their right RPO or left LPO side closest to the image receptor. The central ray will be horizontal and perpendicular to the image receptor. The center at the level of T7, located at the level of the sternal angle approximately 2 to 3 centimeters laterally toward the affected side. Now, let us look into the evaluation criteria of the image acquired in an oblique AP of the ribs. There should be good bone contrast. There should be no blurring in the image. The first rib until the 10th axillary rib of the affected side should be demonstrated without superimposition, and the thoracic vertebrae should be included. The indications of a rib x-ray in an oblique AP position include fractures, benign and malignant tumors, rib notching, and congenital abnormalities. Visit medical-professionals.com to access the complete 3D guide for radiographic positioning and protocols. It is easy to use and 100% free. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on our socials to view more x-ray positioning videos and other radiology content.